Of course, the world is waiting in Washington to see what happens next. Megan Mangello talked about the fears of war with a local politician and a professor. Standing with the picturesque skyline of Cincinnati behind him, Senator Rob Portman spoke about the possibility of a nuclear war. I think probably it wouldn't come to a vote because if they attack a uh, U.S. territory, then the president and his inherent powers as commander in chief would be able to react and uh, it would have to be quick. Senator Portman says he wants everything short of war to be done to put pressure on North Korea. He agrees with President Trump's verbal tactics and says we need to back up any red line that we draw. And I think the right response is to say, you know, if North Korea acts and does anything, the retaliation will be swift, it'll be deadly, it'll be forceful because that should act as a deterrent. The U.S. went to war with Korea back in 1950. This memorial here in Reading pays tribute to those who fought for our country. The crisis now is happening in a very different global environment, especially with the nuclear power. That makes the war of words very important. President Trump's tweet today says, quote, hopefully Kim Jong-un will find another path. Dr. Richard Harknett, the head of the political science department at UC, says the president is giving the dictator an out. He made clear that we are ready to respond to any uh, attack that North Korea might precipitate, but he made it a contingent threat, right? He says, if, if you do this, right, this is the response you're going to be. So that was really important for him to clarify that. Dr. Harknett says both sides have a lot of reasons not to cross that line and declare a nuclear war. Megan Mangello, Local 12 News.